67 and doesn't seem like it's warmed up too much. I mean, it's still really cold outside, right? A degree or two. The <laughs> coldest uh, temperature, 19 degrees in southwest Rhode Island. They're actually up a degree there in uh, Carolina. We're slowly going to warm up yeah. today, but we're not looking at a major warm up. It was officially a frost in Providence. The average first frost is October 28th. Last year, we had a frost, our first frost on October 30th. This year, it was obviously November 2nd and uh, we could be looking at a frost again tomorrow morning. Here are those temperatures. We're at 28 in Smithfield, 30 in Providence, holding steady at 33 in Newport, Block Island. No frost there. They're at 35. A uh, live picture of the city of Providence and look at that. Not a cloud in the sky, at least in that view. East Greenwich looks like we got maybe one, two, three, four, five, maybe six or seven clouds out there. That's about it. Live radar. We're examining those clouds and they're not precipitating. They're dry clouds. Threat tracker for today, Friday and Saturday. Low chance of anything that's going to be overly impactful. Obviously, it's a little cold today, but other than that, uh, not a whole bunch going on. We actually have some lake effects. Snow showers with the cold air blowing over the relatively warm water of the Great Lakes. Meanwhile, high pressure keeping things super quiet across the eastern half of the country and that's going to continue through the daytime today and into tomorrow. So we're looking at sunshine for your Thursday clear tonight. Another cold night tonight as we look ahead into tomorrow. We're looking at sunshine on Saturday, likely some extra clouds swinging on through, but we are dry right through our Saturday and Sunday's looking dry as well. So here's how the day breaks down today. It's sunny and chilly with those temperatures getting into the mid to upper 40s. That's a good 11 degrees below average for this time of year. Our winds turn more southwest very late in the afternoon, 5, 10 miles an hour, and that will begin to warm things up just a smidge. In fact, the coastline tomorrow morning, 35, 39 degrees or so, but inland areas, Looking at those temperatures right around the freezing mark once again. Tomorrow we start off on that cold note and then uh, for the afternoon, mid to maybe upper 50s during the afternoon hours with lots of sunshine. Saturday we'll call it partly sunny. Uh, highs right around 60 degrees. Even the morning low not so bad, about 42. The whole weekend looking great. Uh, low 60s in the afternoon, low 40s in the mornings. We set the clocks back one hour Saturday night. Sunset on Sunday at 4.35 p.m. Monday's looking okay, despite that early sunset. 60 degrees, 61 degrees on uh, Tuesday. There could be a few showers around. I think most of those showers pass to our north Tuesday. There could be a late shower around on Wednesday. WPRI.com, that's where you can go for your updated forecast. You can also get it on our Pinpoint Weather 12 app. Melissa's here now to give us our final check of our Thursday morning commute.